Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, as you can already read by the title, we are finally going to start modifying my G80 M3. After hitting 800 kilometers now, I think it's really time that we start making this car more unusable than it actually is. What we are going to do is we're going to try to fix the front of the G80. Although I have to say that I kind of think this doesn't look that bad. Now after seeing it live and without the license plate, but yeah, I'm still going to try to fix it and make it a little bit more pretty. <laughs> And also we are going to be lowering it and getting an intake. I think it's going to be very interesting. I already have the parts here. Wait, I can show you. They're in these boxes. Uh, I don't really want to take them out right now. I'm going to show them to you later. But the problem that we have is that I would love to use my uh, lift, but it's kind of blocked by the E90 M3. That's not a problem. I can move it, but it's blocked by the R34 as well. And this car still is not drivable sadly i would love to drive it again but waiting for parts and i don't even know who is going to fix it because initially i wanted to do it at Madisma, but yeah there's a few problems there so if you know somebody who's capable of uh, making my r34 perfect again because i want the whole car to be as clean as possible and running very nice and very good <laughs> with a great engine. So if you know somebody who's capable of doing that, please let me know. So yeah, let's just <laughs> put the parts in my car and then we're going to drive to uh, Mani and we're going to modify the G80 finally. Yeah, I can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Also, we will have a surprise guest for you later in the video. It's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I should have probably gotten a touring. <laughs> That's not going to work out. Yeah. Okay. So that's the grill. Now I only have to put the intake in my car somewhere. Yeah, pretty good. No need for touring, yeah. We made it to a better workshop where we have enough space and enough tools to work. Rudy is going to help us. <laughs> Hello, Rudy. <laughs> uh, you're recording for me, Mani. Yeah, I have to go into here because it's so loud outside. But uh, first of all, we're going to mount the front grille of the car, which is actually made by Project Gamma. They did a really amazing job. All parts that we're mounting today are actually made by Project Gamma. So please check them out. They're doing an amazing work on making G80s more beautiful. I think it's going to be quite interesting and I can't wait to see how it looks. Basto is Rudy. <laughs> so yeah, Rudy has to take off the front bumper in order for the grille to go onto the car. Hmm, beautiful. This is, by the way, the... Yeah, this is the intake. It's still wrapped. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way. Okay, you, you. <sighs> oh, this <is> fucking up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> is it actually gone? Give a magnet. Hey, there he is. And nice. <laughs> The engine looks pretty nice though. It's so <laughs> random that Austin is here for some reason. He came from Los Angeles. Oh, he's living in Washington. Oh, what? Where are you Boston? living? Boston. Boston. I'm sorry? You living in Boston or where? <laughs> also, we just talked about this. This is actually, in my opinion, still the best, like the best thing you can do with the front of the G80. Oh yeah, many people actually sent me the Arco front bumper and we saw it on SEMA. We were just talking about how that, I, and it, I respect the Arco guys, but that is yeah. complete rubbish. It looks good from the front, but if you look at it from the side, it looks like an anteater. Mani saw it as well. Yeah. Because me and Ole, Ole also has a G80. We wanted to get it, but honestly, it's the worst thing. Sorry, Arco, if you hear this or if you see this, but... Them as a company, though, they're, they're, they make yeah. really good stuff. I, res I respect like... the hustle, but it's just not... Yeah, this is the best, trust me. Wow, that's a nice pipe you got there. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, we managed to get the old intake off. Mani is unwrapping his just, pipe now. Why don't you just run it like this? Oh, yeah. Uh, By the way, this is the... Gimmick. Pretty nice, actually. Red carbon. Don't listen to him, it's nice. Rudy, wie geht's? <laughs> ah, perfect. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. 
it's a bit complicated because we have to drill holes in my car and we don't even know where we have to drill the holes but we'll figure it out so we have to cut this shit here yeah. on both sides because the air filter will be here <laughs> Where's your other hose clamp? He's just looking to see uh, if it okay. works. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. It's a bit of pain in the ass to set everything up correctly, but... Hmm. Yeah, so uh, intakes are on finally. <laughs> what is that? Oh, what? What? <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. <laughs> Let me take a picture for this masterpiece. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, the front wheel and the intake and the drop brace is successfully mounted. You can actually see it a little bit, which is pretty cool. And it was in two hours. Yeah, two hours. We oh, yeah. oh, had some troubles. <laughs> yeah, let's listen to it and see how it actually sounds. I'm a bit excited. It looks amazing. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Uh, that must So yeah, it's a great success. We will go into full testing when it's a bit brighter outside. We will go uh, install the suspension tomorrow and then when, once the suspension is installed, we will go test my lovely little intakes and everything. See you guys tomorrow when we mount the suspension and then we send it with Austin like always. Hi! <laughs> yeah, so it's now the next day and I'm at another workshop right now. We're gonna put the suspension in the G80 now today. Uh, I ordered the KW V3 suspension. I think that's the best option to be honest. Uh, this is actually the other Mani's workshop. You might already know him from my other videos. And yeah, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Everything still so new in here. It's crazy. <laughs> I think we have to watch out because this might actually scrape when you lower it. So we might have to cut this away. Other than that, it's just a simple install. Yeah, I'm not filming much because it's a bit awkward because there's so many people in the workshop that I don't know. And I'm not a full blown YouTuber yet. I still have that feeling of shame when I'm talking English and speaking to my phone, so I'm sorry for that. But I'm trying my best. Also here in the meantime, we have Sense Evo 9 RS, which is fucking beautiful, but sadly the engine blew up, so it's getting replaced. And also all this Evo 8 back here. I showed you before a little bit, I think. But it's also getting some service work done, ready to be sent in, in some snow. Yeah, back to building my J80. Moment of truth, the suspension is in. Let's see how low it gets. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the fitment in the back is crazy already. We have to see in the front because it might be a bit too tight. I think it looks pretty good. We'll have to drive a little lap around the block to see if it works and if nothing scrapes. But honestly, that looks so much better now. Yeah, I think it's the most important part about the car is getting the suspension done. Because now it looks like a proper M3 and it kind of reminds me of my old F80, which I used to have. I think it looks fucking great. With the grill in the front, it's just as perfect now. Just look at it. You can tell me whatever you want, but that's really not an ugly car. Just crazy. Look how it sticks out. Insane. Yeah, I think we did a great job, Manny. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> actually drives even better now with the suspension. It's a little bit harder, but it's so amazing. I slid a few corners already. It's just perfect now. And it looks so good, honestly. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Yeah, wonderful good morning guys. After we spent the last few days modifying my car, we're finally going to test it out. I have Austin with me one more time. And yeah, we're going to go to ice track today and see how the G80 performs on ice. Austin also has his rental M2. Exactly. So that's going to be pretty fun. And Let's also- see if I can keep up with you. I don't think I will have any chance. Yeah, it's going to be pretty slow today, honestly, but I think it's going to be fun. And I think we're going to hear the intake a lot on the G80, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, the car looks very nice right now. I cleaned it yesterday. It's going to stay clean for about one minute of driving, <laughs> but it's worth it. Just look how perfect the fitment is in the back, by the way. Honestly, I have to say, it looks you know what, so good now. The more that I look at this grill, yeah, the more I like amazing. it. Amazing. You know, I, I, I really fucking do. Love it. I do like so it. So shout out to Project Gamma. <laughs> Gamma Project. <laughs> for hooking me up with this lovely grill. Honestly, you can't tell me that this car doesn't look perfect now. Maybe I need more spacers in the front a little bit, but other than that, also with the intakes back here, honestly amazing. I fell in love with this car yesterday when we lowered it. Honestly, it's one of the coolest cars ever. I think we finally managed to get to the right spot today where we can slide this beauty around and the M2 a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be very slow, obviously, because it's on ice and I only have normal winter tires on. But I think it's gonna be fun and I can get to experience the car a little bit and yeah, it's gonna be nice. Also, Austin has never done that before, so that's also kind of cool. All that's my fun. experiments have been on the street, which is nice to have this now be in a more controlled environment. Show me the rollers. Oh, baby. You're gonna, you'll see these shots. Ready? Three, oh wait, three, two, one. So let's go, see how the M3 slides. Yeah, I've never really been to this track, but as expected, it's very slippery and also very fucking slow. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun, honestly. Yes. Well, you know what's funny? It feels more compliant. It doesn't feel as stiff. Yeah, but we set it up pretty smooth for winter now. Which is good though, because I think these cars, like when I had, when I drove M5 CS, dude, it was so stiff. Yeah. I mean, it feels good, but it's just so stiff. So uh, now it's Austin's turn with the M2. I just drove it and honestly, the car is pretty fucked up already. <laughs> but not from us, it needs a differential service, the diff is not really locking that well. And yeah, we're the by far the slowest ones today. Oh yeah, let's see how you handle the yeah, M2. Gonna... Try to keep the revs a little bit lower than it's smoother. This is so slippery. But you're doing a pretty good job, Austin. Well, I find myself, I think I'm, my speed is too high. Just try to be as smooth as possible with it. Use the momentum of the car to get into the next corner. This way, if you use the momentum, you won't understeer.
at least today I got the chance to set a new record for my car, which is a uh, 2 minute 24 seconds drift, 5 stars and 1192 meters. Yeah, so Loco got stuck. Austin himself got stuck. Perfect, very nice, man. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Yeah, I think having the videos roll like that is a bit boring, so here's a little edit of us sliding around on the ice. home now it was very fun sliding around the G80 this car is just perfectly balanced so you could just throw it into the corners even on ice it was pretty slow but I think the edit was kind of cool so thumbs up for that yeah the intake sound amazing in real life it's definitely something else than on the phone but you'll definitely hear it in the future videos where we're going to go slide the car around the mountain roads and stuff like that Austin just keeps fucking calling me what the fuck man all right, this guy just literally called me to tell me a joke. Yeah, so you're gonna see more of the G8 in the next videos if you want. Uh, I'm also planning on picking up my R35 GTR very soon, hopefully. This car has nearly been gone for one year now. But yeah, and hopefully we finally get some proper snow because this is just ridiculous. So I see you guys in the next videos. I hope you had fun. It was something different for sure this time. I love you very much. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,